Something that is very important when looking for a mattress, but also gets overlooked, I would say quite a bit, is like the edge of the mattress. Something that we, we use all the time, it probably gets the most punishment on the mattress, but a lot of times it's overlooked. Yeah. So Gabe, why is the edge support important? Main reason why is because one, you wanna make sure you have a full surface area of the mattress where you're sleeping on. That's yes. number one, right? Yes, Cause that's, that's for your back, you bought a mattress for sleep. Side note, yes. I've seen like people have, you know, buy a queen size mattress and we actually did a video on it. It was um, like a dream cloud mattress yeah. that mm -hmm. it was like almost crowning. They could only sleep on like 52 inches yeah. of the mattress. Yeah, it was pretty bad. The one is that make sure you have a full surface area of the mattress to sleep on, right? Being able to sleep all the way on the edge of the bed. Shouldn't feel any different, much different than the uh, center of the bed. Right? Yes, and guys, at least in my house, you want as much room for sure as yeah. possible. Or if you have kids too, yeah, you know, because that is where a lot of you guys live. You know, as at the edge. Yep. You know. So that's one thing, and then also getting ready for your day in the morning. Right? It's just uh, people sit, wake up, sit on the edge of the bed. You don't want to feel like you're sliding off. You're tired, right? I mean, some, it's like playing video games, you're playing your video games, you know, so all that stuff. Or because you don't want that to break down too fast. Yes, right? so. yeah, it's very important. And edge support is actually you that uh, had an issue recently. Yeah, with 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 the edge support. Mm -hmm. We we did a big family like camp trip, you know, or, or we stayed at a cabin in Big Bear. My wife was first sleep, you know, sleeping on the first night on the mattress. And she's like, you know what? It's like a little crowded because she was sleeping with my daughter in that bed. And and she's like, the edge is terrible. She kept feeling like she was rolling off. So I was like, you know what? I'll sleep on another mattress, just like the twin size. And then um, she's like, have our other daughter sleep on it with her. And well, middle of the night, our, my daughter just boom, fell out of bed. Oh yeah, I, we were all in the cabin together and I heard a bit boom. Yeah. Oh man. Thought it was like a bear yeah. coming in the, in the, in the house. Yes. But no, it was uh, because that, edge was terrible like she's small she's 10 years old or going to be 10 years old and it was just uh yeah just rolled off the edge of the bed so there's yes. no support so that's why you want good edge support that's one big reason so edge support it has changed over the years there's three main types of edge support that we see um that i say the most common i'll show you right now so this is going to be the flex edge support. This is a Bonnell coil. We have gone over coils in the past with Gabe. What is this? What's the issue with the Bonnell coil? It's yeah. I mean, you see this wire, right? It's connected. You can, you can feel a little bit more movement. Um, and we do have a video more on that, you know, but, uh, yeah, more of a simple coil, traditional coil. Yeah. You see right here, if we can zoom in, this is going to be the, the, the edge support for a Bonnell coil. Now you have the border wire around it, and then you have these little things, these little with, with tension mm -hmm. and it is it's a decent edge support actually yeah it's I mean, not bad it, it does a good job at like supporting you at the edge because as you as you experience it but big bear it did not have these right if and that mattress had it we would have had no issues yeah yeah so without these you're going to roll off the bed mm -hmm. you know it's going to feel horrible you know and early on a lot of mattresses just had that you know yeah so this is going to be the edge support for this now okay the second type of edge support. I would say this is the one I probably see the most of. Yeah. Is gonna be, this is the foam encased edge support. I saw this come on the scene probably about 15, 20 years ago. A lot of the mainstream companies started using it and now most companies yeah. use this. The foam encasement is you have the foam rail, rail yeah. around the edge and going around the perimeter of the bed. And then you have the coils in the center so this is generally anywhere from like three to four inches. What is this game about? Three yeah, this to is going to be, let's, take, let's zoom in if you can see it, camera lady, about uh, four inches. Yeah. So it's, it's very typical. What are the advantages of going with the, the foam and case? One of the advantages is that it is a little bit less expensive, mm -hmm. right? Then uh, maybe if you're to get something that's going to be, you know, all the way springs all the way through. But then also, it's more expensive than the other one. Yeah, it's more. But expensive it's less than expensive than the next one we're going to show you. Right, that's correct. Inside the showroom, like when you're shopping for a mattress, you see that nice, clean, you know, smooth sides. It does give a nice, smooth edge to it, so it gives a better look. You get more of a square look to it. You know, the there is some padding on side of it, so it does feel good at first when you're testing yeah. it out. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and there's some flexibility too. A lot of mm -hmm. the companies went from a that type of coil or more of a rigid coil 
to this because there is more flexibility with this compared to the the way it was done before, which is good for adjustable bases. Yeah. You know, um, and it did. Like on the showroom, you felt that nice firm side. It was it made the mattress a lot more appealing on the showroom floor, especially for the salesperson trying to sell the bed. So mm -hmm. it gave it that nice solid look to yeah. it, you know, and feel at the edge. Yeah, and it also gives you a better like sizing. Sometimes in the pocket of coils, yes. what can happen, there can be like an accordion effect. Yes. And it could squish in and all of a sudden it go, you have like a 60 inch queen size mattress, you know, give or take uh, like an inch or so, right? But then it maybe goes into 57 because it squishes in, so you have to pull those coils out. Yeah, yeah. There is more control over the, just like the way, like the sizing of the bed. Yeah. Cons. What are like, why, what do we see any issues with? Yeah, cons. I mean, one, we've talked about foam of all the materials in a mattress. Foam is usually the one that goes first, right, as far as breaking down. Yeah. And when you're putting all that pressure and that weight sitting on the edge of the bed, you can start getting it to buckle over yep. time. If you're elevating the adjustable base, right, then you're starting to break it down more, right? Yes. So then you start getting that roll off and that saggy, saggy sides. Also too, like if you're sleeping at the edge of the bed, yeah, even though you too. do got a good support at the edge, at least initially, but when there is a difference in feel. That's probably, probably the main one. I would say that's yeah. probably the, the, the complaint that I hear the most of is that because they're two totally different sleeping surfaces, mm -hmm. it's gonna feel a lot different than the, the coil side. So people, if you're especially if you're a sensitive sleeper, that will drive you nuts. Yeah. So there is more transition. It just doesn't feel good. You can feel that difference. Yeah, and we've had customers that say, "Man, I'm losing like six inches off the side because I can't sleep over there." Yeah. Usually it's about four inches, but you know, still, that's if there's a couple in the bed, that's eight inches, right? That they can't sleep. Yeah, on. yeah. You're paying you know? for a king size, 76 inch mattress, but you're you know sleeping on you know 68 inches or 65 yeah. inches, you know. So you're not maximizing it, or even a queen, it's even worse. That's probably the biggest complaint. Mm -hmm. And a little side note, a little tip is a lot of mattress can you might see coil density versus coil count. Coil density is if they were to count all the coils around the, the perimeter, they, they factor that in. So little like, shenanigans, right? Yeah, a little bit a of little a smoke and mirrors, a little bit of tricks, you know. You might have actually 800 coils in here, but they'll say a thousand coils because there's another 200 coils around the perimeter. So coil density is just some little funny terminology that you use, it's not actually true coil It's count. like a, if we would have used the whole perimeter, yes. then it would have been this much, but it's like, mm, okay. Yeah, so if you see yeah. coil density, just know, remember that it's not the true coil count. But yeah, so this is the foam encasement one. My most favorite one, and I, now I see the industry going more towards this. Uh -huh. This is like an, it's an edge to edge coil, but we have firmer coils around the perimeter. And then you have the little bit softer coils around the center part, like the main part of the mattress. So usually yeah. the two outer rows are gonna be a bit firmer. And then the center part are gonna be a little bit softer. Mm -hmm. Gabe, what are the pros? Give me the pros. Yeah, pros. You got that full sleep surface, right? You know, yes. from edge to edge. And the, even though it's a little firmer on the perimeter, it's not gonna be a drastic feel because the coils, like you're on a coil mattress. It's not going from coils to now foam and it's like, whoa, this is a weird transition. Yeah. No, so it's, you get an actual more comfortable sleep, you know, sleep surface on the edge. Yes, yeah, a lot more consistent feel on mm -hmm. that. Even though there's a very little a variance on the firmness of the wire. Now here's something too. If you, you notice that there's numbers on here, if we can zoom in a little bit here, so we have, if you see it here, there's 13.5 around the edges and 14.5 in the center. That is the gauge of the wire. That is the gauge of the, of the, of the wire, the mm -hmm. steel. So the higher the number, the thinner the wire. The lower the number, the thicker the wire, which means that it's gonna be firmer. The lower the number, the firmer the spring. The higher the number, the little bit more um, softer the spring is gonna mm -hmm. be. And there's that balance, you know, you know, it doesn't mean like higher is better, lower is better. You want, again, we're going for comfort and we're going for support. 14 and a half, 15 is a good sweet spot that we found. Unless you're going for a really hard mattress, yeah. then you might want to go in the 13s. But Yeah, because on a, on a thinner wire, right, you could fit a little bit more coils in there, right? So just because it's taking up less space. Yep. Right, so. Another pro with this too is going with the like the flexibility of it, you know? Yeah, that's a good one. The advantage of that foam encasement one was that flexibility, you know, but 
this is even better because now you have like a hundred hinges in here. Like there, there's all these little coils. It's, they can move and they can flex rather easily if you're putting on an adjustable base. Yeah. So, and also you don't feel like you're like sticking in the back of, of your leg too. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can feel like some companies that use that like are super, super, like they have overdid it on yeah. the foam encasement one where it's like super firm. We could feel it digging in the back of your legs. This one, you really, it doesn't, you really can't. Yeah. You know? Oh, absolutely. So what are the cons though? I mean, there's gotta be some little bit of cons on these ones. Yeah, there's cons. I mean, these typically are a little bit more expensive. Yes. Right? Yep. There's gonna be price, those that may be price sensitive to it. I guess another drawback would be, it's not as plentiful mattresses. Right too, so you don't have as big of a selection. Yeah, you know, when pe you know, places have that. Yeah, some I see more companies starting to use this style. You know, sometimes though, another con I would say is oh, there is a little bit of a of accordion, accordion effect. Yeah, We're like effect. on that. We were saying on the um, foam encasement, it's easier to get like a hard yeah. measurement, like a sixty by eighty for a queen size. With this, there's a little bit more variation. You know, now we've done some changes over the over the last couple or maybe year, year and a half. Um, is because we used to use another coil company where it was a well-known um, company that did pocketed coils. It was a different design. It was pocketed, but each pocket was in a row, you know, and they're in line. So there was, and we did a video on this, why all pocket coils are not created equal. You can, you can find that one. But there was more of an accordion effect on that style than this style. Now we've changed it to like this, this quad coil mm -hmm. that we use from Texas Pocket Spring, which almost like the honeycomb effect, I got this from an engineer recently, he does like mechanical engineering, how there's a lot more stability in it, so there's less flex, you know? How a honeycomb, there's, you know, it's gonna give you more stability. I'm gonna butcher how he, how oh, he, he explained it. It made sense. Yeah. And I tried uh, acted like I knew exactly what he was saying, but it does make sense yeah. what he was saying. And, but it did, it did keep it a lot more stable. Mm -hmm. You know, there is less of that accordion effect. There's a little bit of accordion effect on here, but definitely not like- Not like what typical, we had before. Yes, right. not even not even close. And last but, con would be the, um, that edge, right? The the way it looks, because it, it yeah. can it can get rounded, you know, yes. at the corners where people are like, oh, I want that nice flush look, and it's like, you know, it's hard to really achieve it when it's a coil all the way through. Yes. Right? So yeah, that's this is I would say our our favorite one, favorite yep. type. You know, mm -hmm. most of our mattresses with springs has this type in it, but we have a couple of entry level ones that has more of the basic ones. But this is definitely our, I would say, if you're looking for a new mattress and you're, try, you're trying to go with springs, this is, I would consider something like this. Right, know? yeah. Now, but now what about foam? What about, we do a lot of latex, foam. Yeah, so, foam, you know, that's a, another topic in itself, yes. you know, just because of, you know, they do provide different supports. People might think, oh, it's a foam bed, let's just classify them all the same and they're gonna have all the same measure support. Not so true. Like so, yeah. that's another video that we got to do. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a whole separate video because it is. It's not really comparing apples to apples. Yeah. You know. But um, so yeah, when you're looking for a new mattress, these are the things to consider, and think long term. Like when we're designing a mattress, we're not thinking how good it's gonna look on the showroom floor. I mean, mm -hmm. that's like not our initial motive, you know, or priority, or how it's gonna be in within a hundred days. I mean, we're thinking like. How is this gonna hold up in at least 10 years? You know, yeah. you should love your mattress for at least 10 years. So, and that's one reason why we do it like this. Now, mm -hmm. the foam encasement is gonna look better. It might feel more solid initially, but thinking long-term, a good 10 years, you know, I would go with this one. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, in our opinion. Yeah. In our opinion. But yeah, I hope this helped you guys. If you guys had any, have any questions, leave it in the comments or just give us a call at the store. Um, we do, you know, check out your local guy. Yeah, and if you're, if you're shopping for a mattress, like you just need a little bit more, just what to look for, we do have a guide. So you could download mattress our guide, mattress yep. shopping guide. Check out your local guy if you could find one that's in your area, but if not, give us a call. You know, we can go over the mattress that we have and what may be right for you, and we could build you a mattress and, and ship it out to you. Yeah, and if you guys are just starting your mattress shopping journey as well, we have other, I would say, check out mattress shopping mistakes not to make. That's a really good one. And then also check out that Dream Cloud mattress one where we open up a mattress and you can see where edge support is very important. So those are the two videos that I would say check out. Yeah. So, well guys, thanks for watching. Hope this yeah. helps. God bless you. Sleep well.